new 2017 E-Class includes so much advanced technology, it's easy to overlook what will be one of the most used and versatile features on the new E-Class. Touch control buttons make their first appearance on any Mercedes-Benz vehicle. And anyone familiar with how a smartphone works should feel comfortable with this new feature. Let's take a closer look at the steering wheel. Located on each side of the wheel, these simple controls allow the driver to operate the instrument cluster display settings and command at a touch of his or her thumbs. Like a smartphone interface, they respond precisely to horizontal and vertical swiping movements, allowing the driver to control the entire infotainment system using finger swipes without having to take his or her hands off the steering wheel. Let's start with the left touch control button. It controls the screen tucked between the instrument dials. The driver can swipe up, down, left, and right to scroll through the menus. To select the menu of choice, simply press the center button. This left button allows control of the following menus in the instrument cluster display. On the left touch control button, you have a back button to the left, shown here. Think of this as your return to home button. Simply press it to get back to the previous menu. The point is that these two buttons work together. Simple, and your hands never leave the wheel. Let's shift over to the right touch control button. It manages menus in the command screen. This side operates very much like the left side. Up, down, left, right to move through menus. Press the center button to select. Again, this should be familiar to anyone with a smartphone. The right touch control button also works with a button to its upper right. To close a list, simply press it. Here are some tips to get the most out of the touch control buttons. Just like the first time you used a smartphone or other electronic device, it takes some practice to learn it. For most people who use smartphones, understanding the logic will be easy. It's just a matter of discovering everything that can be controlled. That will take a little practice. The sensitivity can be set. With the right touch control button, select System, then Input, then Touch Control Sensitivity. Once you're there, you can select Fast, Medium, or Slow, depending on what's the most comfortable. Remember, if for some reason the touch control button is a challenge to use for anyone, there are two other choices for controlling command menus, the central controller and the touchpad. Both of these offer similar management of the command features. And of course, there is voice control. So let's recap the key points. Touch control buttons allow the driver to keep his or her hands on the wheel while controlling a myriad of vehicle menus and choices. The left touch control button manages the menu choices in the display in the instrument cluster. Use the back button like you might a smartphone home button to return to the previous menu. The right touch control button works with command and its many features, and it functions like the left button you can adjust the sensitivity based on your preferences. That's it for our quick overview of the new touch control buttons. It's a first for Mercedes-Benz in the new E-Class and a feature that promises to delight E-Class drivers during every drive.